Looks strange, doesn't it? We know this hasn't happened here on Earth, but an equally puzzling behavior is happening across the universe. In addition to galaxies being pulled together by gravity, something is pushing them apart. Something mysterious and unseen. Everything we see with telescopes makes up about 5% of the total mass and energy in the universe. Imagine that, just 5%. That would be like you seeing only 5% of me. Pretty limited, right? The remaining 95% scientists call dark matter and energy. Theoretical particles that do not absorb, reflect, or emit electromagnetic radiation. So, we cannot see or observe them directly. It's like seeing this golf ball move, but not seeing what makes it move. Ideas about unobservable matter go back to the 1600s, but not until the early 1900s did anyone take it seriously. Einstein knew something was affecting his theory of gravity, so he added a cosmological constant. He later called that his biggest scientific blunder. In 1933, Fritz Zwicky discovered that the Coma Galaxy Cluster had much more apparent mass than could be visibly accounted for. In the 1970s, astronomer Vera Rubin showed that for galaxies to fit Newton's law of gravitation, most of them must have six times as much dark matter as visible matter. And in January 2020, the Hubble Space Telescope showed evidence that all galaxies are formed within clouds of dark matter. Dark matter doesn't fit into any of our known laws of physics, and so far we know what dark matter is not. Stephen Hawking proposed that the primary existence of dark matter was black holes, but that was proved wrong due to the way black holes bend light behind them. Could antimatter actually be dark matter? Not according to a 2011 experiment that collected and analyzed cosmic ray particles. At low energies, the cosmic rays match standard models. But at higher energies, antimatter particles cannot compensate for observed behavior. Some models say dark matter is made during high energy collisions, and the Higgs boson might be proof. But the Higgs boson cannot decay into dark photons, so it cannot be dark matter. Dark matter and energy remain a complex and intriguing mystery, one that can be solved in our lifetime. Will solving the mystery of dark matter help us understand deeper origins of the universe? provide us a source of free energy? Perhaps advance new medical treatments and even prevent future pandemics? Junior scientists, I ask you, will you be the one to solve the mystery of dark matter and help rewrite physics as we know it?